Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you the installation of Perni intercom to your helmet. So and also I'll be showing you the working of this, like how it will be done. So this is the instruction manual. So how this has to be done. So I'll directly show in the video itself. So first to start, you have two buttons here, plus and minus. So what you have to do is you have to double press the both buttons and keep it. As you can see, if you press right. To switch it on, you have to press this. So the moment you press it, you have this option which comes pairing. So what you have to do is take your mobile, go to Bluetooth. Once you open the Bluetooth, uh, you have to click on pair device. So direct it will go for searching part. So you have Perni A10 which comes up. So what you have to click is you have to click on pair so the moment you click it as you can see this is already in ready state so now this is currently paired so this process is very easy so what you can do is uh, it's very simple as you have seen right it's very straightforward you have to just connect to Bluetooth and it starts working once the device is ready so these are the instructions how you have to use it so this is the button operation so this is one which I showed you powering on and off so volume adjustment is straightforward so phone pairing which I have showed directly it's very simple directly you can do so this for the music operation so for mobile call making and answering so these are the options for the intercom pairing this is the one which everyone will have a confusion this so this is how you have to do it to start and end intercom this is the one for configuration one this is the one so in case if your intercom is not working or you have any problem right what you can do is uh, there's a pinhole which you can see here so this you have to press it you will have the sim ejector tool right so you can just click on this and this will be a factory set so this is the basic procedure of how to start and uh, connect to the this uh, Perni intercom now i'll be showing it how to install it in your this helmet. Is the helmet which i have so this is basically an axr helmet so what happens is you can't install on the left side part because you have this button for the visor. So what you have to do is you have to install in this part. So I'll show you how to install it. So what you have to do is you will have two clamps which is given. So this is clamp one. What you can do is uh, you can directly place it wherever you are comfortable in this place where it is straight surface and you can stick it with this uh, frame double tape. The another option is uh, you have this clamp so what you have to do is uh, have to just remove this uh, inside liner the moment you remove this liner it you have to just press it like this and push it upwards so i think i think directly it might go let me try let me how it. you have to put the clamp so what i've done is i've just removed this inner layer you will have little gap here in axe or helmet or any other helmet you have to make sure that you push it gently so don't give too much pressure what happens is since this is a plastic right there are chances that it might break and there is no need to remove back tape here it also comes with this uh, 3m tape on the back side i think this is not treated just for safety if you want you can remove it so this is how this one is placed so the next step is very simple you have to just take this intercom so make sure that whatever uh, you have right this should be on the top so what you have to do is you have this uh, you can see there's a C type of clamp I don't know if this camera is focusing or not you have to just place it and push it like this so now what I've done is I've just placed it here once you place it right you have to just push it little so the moment you hear that sound now it is properly locked so this is how it will look on the helmet so as you can see it's properly fit and it doesn't move much now to install the speaker set and the mic system right what you have to do is you have to remove this layer, inner layers of the helmet so as you can see you have to remove from the both the sides left right so once you remove in any helmet right this is axor brand so you will be getting a slot here for the speaker on the both sides so here you can see the speaker placements and you can adjust according to here your uh, ears so few helmets what it happens is it will be little tight so that time you can remove little of thermocol here which is there 
otherwise if, you, if there's a lot of space what you can do is you can add extra layer of sponge so how this is the complete uh, system for the parani one so here you have this pin it will go directly here then you have two speakers and a mic system so how this one has to be done is you have to place this one here this wire will go here then there are other three wires so this system what you can do is you can place it in this way so another wire you have to reroute to this part so once you place this connection there's one speaker which you have to place in this part of the ear then what you can do is this speaker what you can do is you can reroute in this way once after the rerouting i'll just show it to you this is how i have done the routing for this intercom so the one side of the speaker goes in this slot then this is directly attached to the mic which will go to the front end part of the helmet so another wire what i have done is you get this uh, clip here what you have to do is i have passed inside this so that the wiring can't be seen and another speaker i have attached in this way so once you close the both parts right the wiring everything will not be seen and when you keep on removing the helmet and wearing it right the wires also don't come so easily so this how i have done it so once i'll close all this i'll show it to you how neatly it is done so now this is all finished so as you can see you can't see any other wiring from outside so this wire is for the gopro mic adapter which i'm using so that's why this is out so as you can see speaker is placed here the wire is taken in this direction it's moved inside this and you can see if you remove the sponge you can see the speaker here which is placed here so this is how is the installation process so thank you for watching the video guys if you have any queries please comment down below and please do subscribe thank you